Uh, now, while the pandemic has been a challenge, a challenging time for many, for some, it gave them a window of opportunity to, to, uh, opportunity to launch a new business. The autocue is now blurry. That's my excuse. For <laughs> uh, with a number of startups in the UK soaring over the last year. And for the disabled community, becoming an entrepreneur is a real chance to make the changes they want to see in society actually happen. Something disability activist Shani Danda knows all about. I'm Shani Danda, and if I look a bit stressed, it's because I'm gearing up for the launch of my new business. Now, I've spoken on stages at conferences alongside the likes of Michelle Obama and Hillary Clinton. But there's nothing as nerve-wracking as taking the plunge into the world of business. You could say I'm used to a challenge, though. I have brittle bone disease, which affects 1 in 15,000 people in the UK. By the age of 14, I had broken my legs six times. And it's a condition that every day has an impact on my life. So, for example, I can't just buy and wear clothes straight off the rail. I have to get them tailored first. And I can't use public transport, so I rely a lot on taxis. But it was thinking about all those extra costs that led me to the idea for my new business. On average, living with a disability can add £583 to your monthly spending. For some, it can be double that. So I've set up a scheme which I'm inviting major UK retailers to join by offering exclusive discounts for disabled people. If successful, the stores will get new business and customers will save money. People might think this is a niche market, but I've researched the stats and I think it's going to be a success. There are 14.1 million disabled people in the UK and our spending power, known as the Purple Pound, is reckoned to be worth around £274 billion to the economy. As I launch my plans, I'm really encouraged to see how many other people have used their experience of disability to start a successful business. From all-terrain wheelchairs to seated mannequins showing how clothes look when sitting down. These ideas are thriving and valuable, as Turin Madipali has found out. I had tried to go travelling at the end of 2010, 2011, and it was just really difficult to find accommodation that was accessible to me. And I was, got so frustrated constantly turning up to places, and there were steps when people claimed there were no steps. Fast forward to 2015. Shrin and his friend Martin Sibley launched Accommable a website listing holiday homes appropriate for travellers with accessibility needs. When you have such a direct connection to the problem you're solving, I think the acceleration of the business is so much more because it's just something you deeply understand. Two years after the site launched, Airbnb, one of the largest accommodation providers in the world, bought it to improve accessibility across its own platform. It happened way earlier than imagined in my wildest dreams. And there is just that incredible feeling and elation that this was a problem that really had to be solved and other people were recognising it. Jane Hatton also spotted a gap in the market, creating a job site to bring together employers and disabled applicants. It seemed that disabled candidates couldn't find employers. Employers couldn't find disabled candidates. Around 83% of people acquire an impairment during their working lives. Jane started her business in 2011, seven years after becoming disabled at the age of 44. It became really up close and personal, and, and I kind of thought, why should I face barriers that other people don't when they're looking for work? Jane's degenerative spine condition had left her bedridden. At the time that I was setting up Even Break, it was um, incredibly difficult. I was unable to sit pretty much at all, so I had to work lying flat with a laptop suspended above me. That has its huge limitations. On the other hand, it can be a benefit. So if I went to a conference and there were 200 people in the room and I was the one lying down, people would remember me rather than the other 200. <laughs> So sometimes being different is an, is an advantage. What started as a simple job board has now global reach as far as Singapore, New Zealand and the US, 
with over 50,000 disabled candidates registered. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. For the first six months, very little was happening. Employers were thinking, this is a risk, it's something we've never done before. Once one big corporate came on board, other corporates then thought, oh, well, we can come on board as well. And then, of course, the candidates came because they could see the jobs from those companies. Jane had built her business and team remotely, something we're all a bit more familiar with now. Working from home wasn't so much of a thing then, 10 years ago, but something weird happened in the pandemic in that the world generally seems to be much more aware of inequality, of flexible working, you know, the fact that so many people have been working from home successfully, that I think the new normal, whatever it turns out to be, um, we'll be much more flexible, we'll have uh, people working remotely and of course disabled people are perfect for doing that because they're used to doing things differently. Jane's business has doubled in size since the middle of last year. Hopefully any setbacks that come my way I can also turn into success. So I'm about to launch my business idea. Have you got any advice to share with me? We are ideal entrepreneurs because we've got used to overcoming barriers, finding different ways of doing things, being persistent. And having a diverse team is just priceless because you come up with decisions that will work for everybody, not just for a particular group. If you make it fun and sustainable and work with people that, that have the same values as you, you're just going to love every minute of it. Shani getting some great advice from Jane there. He's right though, isn't she? With, with the pandemic, we can be flexible with our working hours now and it is benefiting a lot of people. So. Yeah, I think there has been a huge shift in the way that businesses are run now, which is fantastic. Sure, and good yeah. luck to Shani as well.